Chocolate TV episode 127. It is the 29th of October, it is 2012, and I'm trying the Valrona Vintage Chocolates. They make three of them. I've got two on the table, already open, already tested for the Swedish version. And I'm doing it very easy for myself this night, this evening. It is only uh, tw 25 minutes past five, and uh, it is actually pitch black outside. So that's Sweden for you. Uh, pitch black, just after five o'clock. Uh, and we're not talking morning, we're talking evening, uh, afternoon. So, two uh, vintage chocolates. Uh, Valrona has since the late 90s, 1990s, made a vintage chocolate. Uh, this is the oldest one, Grand Cuva. Grand Cuva. And this is the second oldest one, uh, Bamakia. Uh, they take the entire crop from one plantation and makes chocolate of it each fall usually comes out in the stores in October and since uh, every crop is different every year has been different weather wise and things like that uh, the cocoa beans smell, uh, smells and tastes a little bit different every year so that's the way you get a vintage chocolate uh, then you can't save it too, too long got chocolate in my fingers. Uh, two years maximum uh, usually uh, you can save it if you store it good, cool, not too cool but cool. I have chocolates from 2003 uh, if you watch the episodes you've seen I've tasted all once. Sometimes they, they get really bad because of the fat, uh, the cocoa butter in it goes bad and or they just uh, crumble to dust and don't taste anything, but yeah, you can store chocolate two years without hazarding your health. They say this is durable to tw uh, January uh, 2014, so one and a half years, but two years is okay. Uh, we're going to try uh, the Gran Cova, the, uh, the old vintage, the old one, uh, and then the Ampamakia. And since I've already tried them for the Swedish version, then this is going to be easy to me, to me to put a point and things like that. And it is not often I cheat like this. I have the same chocolate in the, both episodes, but bear with me. Uh, I had to do this today. So the Gran Cova uh, beans from Trinidad. The Gran Cova is the plantation on Trinidad. So this is uh, mainly Trinitario beans from the West Indies and uh, it has a quite dark, dark brown reddish color and it is 64% cocoa and uh, if we break it off a piece and do a quick scent check we get that it is kind of uh, dry, dark chocolate flavor with some cigar box nuances as well of little hints of gooseberry and yeah, sh some sugar and some vanilla as well but mainly that dark 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 chocolate dry f feeling so let's go to the taste a really hard very good molded chocolate bar 64%, if it's been 85%, it would have been even harder, I guess. And first off, you get a sensation of, of a very dry hazelnut, crushed up hazelnut shell. And that taste also transcends into your nose as a smell. Have you ever crushed up lots of hazelnuts? That smell from the crushed shells there is what this smells uh, tastes like there is some slight acidity mature goose berry acidity there's some sugar and some vanilla as well and there's a very dark chocolate component all the way a very dark chocolate this is only 64% it is so dry, 
So you actually think this is higher. This is a 85% cocoa. But it got a nice balance between sugar and the bitterness of the chocolate. And that nutty, dusty feel as well. Leaves your tongue quite dry. And actually, kind of clean in one way, but longing for more. I'd say this go terrific with an espresso or a dark coffee or something like that, uh, or with a with a sweet cherry or a sweet port type of wine. I like this chocolate. Uh, it is my favorite. Uh, brand of uh, the last 15 years or no, only 13 years and uh, they've done a tremendous job and good vintage of this one good taste good structure good all around it's a, but it's not a 10 it is a 9 out of 10 uh, I've had one that is better uh, of this Grand Cabot and that was the I think that was the 2003 yeah, let's go to the Ampa Magia. It's from a plantation, Ampa Magia, uh, on Madagascar. Uh, and this uh, should have a completely different uh, scent and flavor profile. And if we look at it, it is a much more uh, a reddish, in the dark brown reddish com compartment that, than the, this chocolate. It is much darker. This is a bit lighter and more red and I think this is Trinitarian Creole beans from uh, Madagascar break Even this one off a piece and then try to see if there are any scent and this is a, a much more fruity nose this is a, has lime and red fruit and um, some sugar and some yeah some vanilla there's a, there's a dry component in the background there, the dry cocoa powder on the paper. If you spread cocoa powder on the paper and then smell it, you will get some uh, hint of the paper as well. That's what it smells in the, towards the back of my nose, towards the back of the sand. But up front, the, the nose is very lime, red currant, sugar, mandarin orange very citrusy, very fruity for being a chocolate with only cocoa cocoa mass, cocoa butter, vanilla and sugar so let's taste it good crisp chocolate, good structure and from the first bite there is no bitterness on this one not initially in any way. It is more acidic. You got lime. You got red currant. You got sugar. You got yeah. You got sprinkle some chocolate on that. Almost covered in cherry sauce as well. You mash all those components in your mouth. So you got this chocolate. Ex extremely acidic. Very lots of lime sugar, red currant, almost a, a orange marmalade on top of that, and then dry cocoa. A lot more creamier than the the other chocolate, who was very dry. This is more a semi creamy, more like full milk, whole milk, whole milk. You say yeah, whole milk. You say. And the start of this chocolate is, is the, the uh, citrus fruit like characters with its acidity. Not, much as, not so much the chocolate in itself, but the flavors the chocolates contain. The other one, that was the chocolate. And this is 64% cocoa as well, so a completely different uh, scent, a completely different uh, flavor, but still a 
very, very nice chocolate. I'm going to give this one a 9 as well. So that is two of the three vintage chocolates Valrona uh, make every year, uh, usually in shops in October, as I said. And the third one is uh, called El Pedregal, but uh, they started that one just last year. Uh, they had another one, Palmira, for a number of years, but they stopped making that, so there's a new one. And the new kid on the block uh, has to wait till next Monday. So next Monday we'll try the new kit on the block with something else and see what happens. Uh, is it as good as these two fabulous chocolates? Bye.